All right, welcome back to Career Build Series Part 49. Okay, so we're going to continue to work on the um, snorkel, and so we need a buoy to do the snorkel. So I did some testing, you know, it was, it was ugly. It was made mostly to, just to see um, proof of concept. I have a buoy here, a mooring and buoy. This buoy works. Um, I'm going to try to just sh snag it and see what I can do here, and I will um, edit it. Um, you know, it was, it was proper ugly what I was making. Um, again, it was just for tests. So this will give me some, uh, all right. So this is a little bit more done. This is a mooring buoy. So let's copy this. Let's test this. I want to do a new one and test it. Um, yep. Okay. So let's just go J. I want this to spawn upright and then want to try to get this let me get this merged with this uh, original oh, you are just killing me aren't you today um okay there we go let's grab this and let's um just we can merge it right here okay merge it right there okay so now we have our mooring buoy um let me kind of start getting rid of some stuff that i don't need that's gone uh this is gone like that don't need that don't need that don't need any of that. All right, so by using these wedges, it allows me to have um, a greater air volume in there, therefore greater um, buoyancy. Okay, like so. So I, I'll I'll show you inside here. You can see, um, you know, I have um, all these all these wedges that uh, gives me more buoyancy in here because it can hold more air, so that's more uh, buoyancy. All right, and then getting rid of that battery helps. Um, let's see, so I have a micro here. I can get rid of that microcontroller. Okay, so we are now, we have this. Um, if you look here on the bottom pedestal here, I have, um, I have some weight blocks. The weight blocks are there to keep it upright. I'm gonna do a filter. I'm going to do an air filter. I don't know if I need both. Um, I don't know if I need both. kind of like the way the air filter looks anyways. Let's see what it weighs. Um, this is going to be very weight dependent. That's five. If I don't need it, I'm not going to use it. That's heavy. That's pretty. That weighs as much as a piston. This is like, that's two. So let's do that. Um, I don't want the same color scheme, but for some reason now that looks off, I, I have to color it. So, okay. Uh, so what we're going to do here in the bottom is uh, hose anchor. I want this color for the hose anchor. Okay. And bingo there. <clears throat> These are two weight blocks here. Um, I shouldn't have dropped it. I should have placed it in the water. As you can see, that has really good buoyancy. Um, it floats upright. That air, um, that air filter is going to be way up above the water line. Um, so this is going to give us plenty of buoyancy to keep this up and we'll be able to breathe. So that was a good way to do it. I was just doing some testing earlier. So um, <clears throat> so for now, we'll save this. Um, okay, so I need to continue this through. So um, should be right in the center. All right, that's the center. Um, and then right in the center and the bottom, okay, praise <laughs> Godzilla. And uh, so that goes there. Let's go pipe through. Okay, so now we have a pipe going all the way through. Uh, pipe's going to go down through this pipe here, and then we have a hose anchor. That's going to connect to our ballast system, or our, um, our air intake for our submarine. So let's um, save this as um, sub air or a sub snorkel snorkel okay let's copy all this let's load in our submarine now I want to do a little test here okay so it is giant but that's actually not too bad Okay, so that's going to trail behind us. It's a little weird, but it's going to give us a lot of versatility. Um, again, it is on the big side, but um, okay. 
Let's hook that there. And then I want to do... Um, just going to do two toggles for now. I'm not going to play with this too much. I want to get this just moving a little bit. Make this a shorter one. The last one was two hours long. Again, like I said, these... Um, people actually seem to be liking the long videos, which I enjoy them as well. But... Um, these build videos, you know, they're they're long because I'm going through, I'm conceptualizing. A lot of people, they cut their videos down, which is great. You know, that's, you know, certain people like, you know, cut down videos that have, you know, fast forward and everything else. You, you tend to miss a lot, and then you see the comments filled with questions. Well, you know, I work a lot, and I can't really answer too many questions while I'm working. So, um, you know, this allows me to add more detail and some tricks and kind of let you see the microcontrollers and then... Um, once you've seen the microcontrollers, you can kind of, you know, and you you learn more, I think, you can, um, you know, you then have fewer questions, probably. All right, so here we are dragging our buoy. Um, the buoy is going to allow us to um, connect to air. So I'm going to start filling my ballast here. And I'm going to go ahead and start letting that out. Okay, that was the wrong one. That was the right one. Okay, so as you see, uh, once that weight block gets through, a buoy should go straight up. The buoy goes straight up. All right, we're dragging it along nicely. It's still, as long as that air filter on the top stays above the level of the water, we're going to be in good shape for that to, um, we're going to be in good shape for that to feed us air when we're underneath. I, I, I pressed my old button, so let's go, um, Let's go 3,000. I want 3,000 uh, liters of water in. We're pumping in. As you can see, ballast going in, ballast in, light is on. All right, so I don't have the engine hooked up yet, but this is going to allow us to charge. Um, I have an artificial, spe an artificial speed limiter on. I only put a certain amount of power can go to the motors. That's on purpose. I don't want to drain my batteries too quickly. I want my batteries to drain in a reasonable amount of time so that I don't eat up all my supply. Okay, so 3,000 is a little bit much. We're at uh, negative buoyancy. Let's do 2,800. And that light should come on and we should start to regain some, al some uh, altitude, some depth. I'm trying to just get to neutral buoyancy. Let me, um, I'm gonna, Hold Alt, and I'm just going to um, I'm just going to what do you call it? Uh, trim my forward momentum there. So as I change mass on this, I I need to change how much water will um, keep us above or at neutral buoyancy. So there's 25. We're still pumping out. Okay, these aren't that far apart. This gauge is just indexed wrong. Beautiful. Look at that buoy back there, sitting up nicely. Um, okay, here we go. We're coming up on um, 2,500. Let's go 15 and 17. I don't know why that was over 3,000. Why is it not behaving itself? That right there is 2,000. We're still draining. I don't. I think my p value screwed up here. Let me keep us going down. But anyway, so this is a this is a pretty successful test for the buoy. As you can see, the buoy is yet to dip underwater, and it's um, keeping us good. See, my tanks are not draining properly. My tanks have me tipping quite a bit. I'm supposed to have crossfeed enabled. I'm going to have to put a power crossfeed in, I think. I'm going to have to do a power crossfeed. It's, it's, it's doing one tank more than the other. Okay, but anyways, this was a positive test. As you see, that buoy is working really well. Um, what I need is this. Let me try something. Okay, let me recall this. All right, I want to put some connectors on this. Um, hopefully, I can get this to connect. All right, so I want this to connect. I'm going to do a test here. Okay, I need to move the buoy up one. 
Of course. Why wouldn't you be right where you need to be, huh? Okay, let's move the buoy out one. Let's move it actually right there is where I want it. I want it to kind of stow here. Um, it's going to probably want to stow vertical, though. That's the issue. Will it want to stow vertical? That is the question of the day. Uh, we're not going to let it stow vertical for right now. We're going to let it stow horizontal. So I want to try to see if I can get this to stow horizontally like that. Um, going to have to be there. Um, see if it will stow horizontally like this. So let's paste it. Let's do a couple connectors. We need two to keep this. Um, and then that. Yeah, it's not going to want to do it. Okay, why, 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 why you do, why you do this to me? Okay, I'll fix that in a second. Fix that in a second. Okay. Oh, come on, man, just, just straighten them, fly right. Okay, I don't want it all the way over there. Let's go like this. Bingo, bango, cut this. Slide this in. All right, merge that back. All right, these two here can go there. Um, I want that like that. So how many in do I need these? So I want them in, um, let's see. I want to go in about one, two, three, three blocks in. So right there. Let's see if these connect. They do. All right. Um, as you can see, that, that stows my buoy. Let's see if I can get it to stow like that um, in normal operation. So I'm going to just uh, get in here, and I'm going to go forwards, and I'm going to I'm gonna uh, go down. I'm going to uh, release it and recall it. So I need to put in an cr uh, uh, active crossfeed system. It's... Or, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make it so that... Um, Trying to decide. I'm going to make an active crossfeed system. It's just going to be the simplest to do. So it's actively going to make sure that the two tanks, um, instead of it let, letting it do it by gravity, which it, once you get to a certain tilt, it won't work, I'm going to make it so that it actively, um, that it actively keeps the two tanks via pump um, even so that they don't... Um, you know, so you don't end up with um, one tank full and the other tank near empty like we did in the last test. So that's moving pretty well. Um, so that kind of stows nicely. I'm trying to see if that will snap. Um, why are you going nose heavy on me all of a sudden? That's... What is it doing? Why would you be this nose heavy? Oh, the buoy. The buoy is... Okay, I can't take the buoy. <laughs> I can't take the buoy underwater with me. No, the f no, I left the door open. I just left the door open. That's all it was. <sighs> left the door open and it's filled with water. I do have to worry about that buoy um, being too buoyant, sucking me down. Okay. All right, let's try this again. 3,000 in here. So I'll put an active crossfeed system in there so it keeps the two tanks even. All right, we're currently filling our ballast tanks. I just want to set this in the water. Um, so hopefully, I was hoping to take the buoy down. So it seems like it um, seems like the buoy weighs too much or has a lot of buoyancy. So if if it has too much buoyancy, um, I'll see if I can cut the bu the buoyancy down. But right now, uh, because we're not full of water. No, it works perfectly. That's beautiful. Yeah, so this can take the buoy down, no problem. It's just going to flap around there like a dingus, but that's fine. I don't care about that. And, <laughs> oh, I just did this test, and I didn't put any way to disconnect the friggin' connectors. Okay, let me uh, fix it. Uh, I'm getting too tired to be doing this. It's just, um, keep making a ton of mistakes. 
take a break. Um, let's go like this. If I couldn't disconnect them, then I can't do the test. All right. Um, yeah. So that was just me filling the um, cockpit up with water. That was why that was sinking. I was like, there's no way that buoy's holding me up that much. Okay. Three, zero, zero, zero. Let's head out. All right, ballast is pumping in. Tanks are going. So put a cross feed system in there. That'll keep me um that'll keep me filling uh keep the tanks even. I know I keep saying that every time I pull out, but it's how I remember it. So it's probably obnoxious to keep saying the same thing, but all right, the sub is shaping up. So um we're definitely not at the decoration stage yet. We're definitely not where we um want to make this look great because we don't know if it's going to function well right uh function well yet and so we want to make sure that happens before we do anything else okay detach that's going to go to the that's going to float like that that's good this is going to go out all right the buoy is up okay we're going to stop that we're going to reconnect we're going to drag it in we'll see if it will reconnect to those two connectors that's the goal it does not, which is fine. If I go forwards, does it try to? I'm trying to think of a way to stow this better. All right, let's do this. Uh, we'll make, we're gonna make this a real quick video. Not gonna, not gonna make this too long. Um, last one was super long, so let's make this on the shorter side. Um, a hinge, maybe. Robotic door hinge. That will work. Okay, I need to move this again. So let's move the whole build again. Build's getting long just because of the buoy, but um, I think the buoy's a good feature. So let me try this. Um, I don't want to move that. I was going to move that in and move it up, um, but you know what? Let's do this. Let's drag it all the way to the forward front. Um, where are we at here? Move. Put that all the way to the front. That's there. Let's go. Um, I'm going to delete these off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose something, but I can reattach it. Okay. All right, let's cut this. Just move it a couple away here. I can always put it back, paste that, cut this here, cut. So the buoy is working well. That's a win. I was concerned about the weight of the um, of the winch. I was gonna, you know, I was thinking out loud for, to myself for a second there. Of uh, I was thinking out loud of trying to um, I, was, I was thinking out loud of trying to uh, put the winch in the. I would love to put the winch in the back, but I think it's gonna be too much. Okay, so that's going like that. Throttle. Um, again, these are all just testing uh, things. I'm not going to actually use any of these for the real connection stuff. It'll be off panels and automated and everything like that. But I want to um, get this started. So this is connectors here. We'll go here. All right. Um, let's see if that will grab. Should. Yep. Okay. That grabs onto the hinge. Okay. That keeps it wobbly dobbly in the back. Um, I think it will behave itself and stop doing that nonsense in a moment. Okay. Shut this door. Let's go out. Start adding in. Put uh, 2,500 liters of water in there. All 
All right, so it's just going to kind of wiggle waggle on that. Trying to get down to the bottom here. I'm just going to put full trim in. So it uh, keeps me going forwards. All right, so let's test the hinge out. Let's go full up. All right. So what we're hoping is when we release this that it um we're hoping is when we release this that it um will grab on to that hinge. Why am I it's doing that thing where it's trying to tip me over again. Just bring me to the bottom here. We'll deal with you later. <laughs> Crossfeed system. I just want to sink to the bottom, man. The problem is it's adding um it's adding the two ballast tanks up, so it has its weight, and it's allowing it to just fill one like crazy, where I need to make... Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, instead of having it take the two of them, um, I need to make it so that it has a pit for each, and that it fills the tanks respectively. That will also allow me to cross-feed where it takes in or out ballast water, as need be, from one another. Okay, so we are on the bottom. Uh, let's... It's going to flip here if I don't stop the forward momentum. Okay. Okay, so that is trying to stop us here. Okay. Uh, next thing I want to do is detach. Let's uh, put it to the surface. Okay, so we have air. Stop putting it to the surface. Let's bring it down and allow it to reattach. I'm hoping it attaches to, the, to those two connectors. It does. Okay, good. And now I want to drop the hinge. Okay, it likes to be like that now. Whatever. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. Um, this is not a huge necessarily feature. Necessary feature. Um, I don't mind if it's floating up. I just want to keep it so that I want to try to stow it. You know, I hate the look of that pipe sticking out the side. This is just a test. This is proper ugly at the moment. So I'm just mostly just spitballing testing. We have some important things to do like um, ballast. So. I'll get that ballast fixed just so I remember it, but I'm going to take a break after that. And we will uh, call it there. I'll try to make this a little bit of a shorter video. All right, so this is going to be cut. I'm going to go up one. I'm going to paste that. I'm going to do hard point um, connection like this. That will be like that. And then I want to, I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to cut it and I'm going to get it closer. These I can spawn together to start with. Okay, they're attached. Let's see how this functions. Um, again, I don't necessarily need it to attach like that. Um, I might try to shrink the buoy too. The buoy's big. If I can get the buoy half the size, that would be beautiful. But uh, who knows if that will happen. Three, zero, zero, zero. All right. Um, can I straighten this straight up? Yes. So the buoy is, is pointing straight up now. That's choosing to fill the ballast tanks wonky again. Doesn't want to behave, but... Um, you know, that's something we'll fix in a second here. I just want to get, I'm trying to get this problem done before, or I'm trying to get some solutions for the buoy. Um, kind of behaving like I want it to. Might tr I might move that, um, that winch to the back. Um, that's a thought as well. Okay, so that's there. Uh, I didn't connect it. All right, I'm done with the buoy for now. Um, I can't be bothered at the moment. Um, it's just, I forgot to hook it up again. All right. Um, let's go in here and let's fix our ballast system. That's an actual problem we need to fix. This is like just 
play time doing that buoy at the moment. So, um, all right, I have plenty of nodes here. I'm going to actually, all right, let me go back out. Let me save this. Okay. Now let me see if I can screw this up in one move um, out of laziness um, by not moving this length update. Did it go in the right direction? Of course it didn't. Why would it go in the right direction? Where is it? 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 No, it did. It did go in the right direction. It went up. Okay, good. Um, that didn't break anything, did it? Nope. I don't think it did. No, it's right there. Okay, good. I was afraid it was going to go the other direction and break something. Okay, so good. Um, so presently I have airlock in, airlock out. Those are fine. Ballast in, ballast out. Okay, so I need... Um, one goes there, one goes here. Okay. So a ballast in is going to be port ballast in. Ballast out is going to be port ballast out. This is going to be star ballast in. This is going to be star ballast out. Okay. And then these um, go outputs. Outputs. Okay. So that um, so what I'm going to do is essentially just duplicate this. So desired ballast. Um, it's pretty simple um, function uh, x divided by two. X divided by two. So it's going to take half the number I put in there. So I'm going to still put total ballast number in there. I think. Um, Yeah, I'm going to put total. Oh, do I want to do that? Yeah, why not? Okay. Um, okay, so this port side this port side is done. The difference is I want to read, instead of adding that like that, Okay, so let's go port here where that ad is there. Okay, if the um, let's not overcomplicate this. Let's do single. Um, no, that was fine. I'm trying to think if I want to do dealt dual ballast to what. Yeah, let's do total ballast volume and then just go like that. Um, okay, so what it's going to do is going to continue to do that. That's fine. Subtract threshold, that's fine. Okay, good. Um, let's see, is that going to just port? That is going to just port there. Uh, that's adding these two together as our process variable. We want port to be our process variable. The add can go away. Okay. Um, this whole section here, I'm going to grab. This is all, let me see if I can straighten up some lines and have it out of the way. That's fine there. This here can go like... Um, that's fine. Okay. That's our port ballast system. This is going to be our starboard ballast system. Control C, Control V. That's a whole thing there. And that goes like that. Okay, now I need to plug these in. So I have two nodes I just picked up here. Um, I thought I grabbed both of them. I guess I didn't. Um, so we want starboard ballast. What, what's the order? In and out. In and out. Like that. Okay, that's good like that. And then we need what connects there. That's zero, that's fine. That's what we want. Okay, and then we want to go to that subtract number. I want to go, um, so I want to go starboard to the um, process variable. Process variable. I also want starboard to go up to that subtract figure, which is the bottom node. And then I want this, um, where are we reading off? Desired ballast here divided by 2. Divided by 2 number goes there. That's fine. What goes there? Um, desired ballast needs to be divided by 2 there. Okay. And then this is desired ballast divided by 2 there. So. Let's go like that, actually, to make it so that I can see where they're all going. 
All right, so that should give us independent ballast systems that um, will hopefully work. Okay, and then what's this? This is the um, cross flow valve. I'll leave it as a cross flow valve. Let's see if it works now better with this. Okay, let me hook up the nodes and not forget to do that. So starboard ballast out is in the back. Starboard ballast in is going to be in the front. Let's spawn it. Um, I'm going to put in total ballast number, so 3,000 again is fine. Okay, 3,000. All right, let's fill it up. All right, so it's filling. Let's check our tanks. That one's lagging a little bit, but... What are we doing here? Why is it... Why is the back... What are you doing in the back, dude? Why is the back sinking up? I don't know. Okay, that's something I'll deal with. Um, 12, that's 1487. That's 1491. Okay, so they're, they're evening out. That's what went. Okay, so you know what happened? The back filled up because the somehow somebody left the airlock open. Um, he did? I don't think he did. I don't think somebody did leave the airlock open. Why? Okay, this filled up. I screwed something up with this. Okay, let's um, come on. Can you fill empty. On. Is it pumping? All right, so I filled up my ballast tank. I filled up my um. Filled up my hatch here. Why is it filling that up? That's why it uh, dumped like that. Was it had an issue? Um, did I screw something up on the um, airlocks? Port ballast in out. Starboard ballast in out. Okay, airlock in and out. Three. Okay, three at four. Three and four airlock in, How's that working now? I gotta go back and see how I even set this up. Um, okay, so this should be a single push button. I haven't hooked that up yet. That could be part of the problem here. Um, that is what five. Five. Let's hook that up. Um, let's re let's retest this. Edit microcontroller. Okay. Something I don't know why something triggered that, but um. Anyways, um, so we're gonna read. We have an up down counter here, okay. So we want a val uh, increment of one. We want disable. We want start value of zero. Zero is off. Um. Okay, zero is off. One is fill. Two is off, three is empty, four is reset. That will give us a pause between values. Um, that's going to be five. Okay, read on off, uh, channel five, need a pulse. Pulse. Count up. Do a threshold here when we reach four. It will reset. Okay. Like so. Um, and then what do we want for numbers here? So if... Um, do not do that. Do threshold, please. Um, if the number is one, airlock in. If the number is three... Airlock out, and then anything in between is going to be um, nada. Okay. 
five, that's the panel. Um, all right, so that hopefully should do our that. Okay, spawn this, let's get in. I wanna get that airlock checked, that's critical. The buoy can wait. Um, yeah, the, the engine I might, I, I just need a shag generator set up. I'll make a, a, a panel just for generators. Um, okay, let's go three, zero, zero, zero. All right, something was filling this before. I want to check and see why this was filling. Okay, so this shouldn't fill. Let's, um, hopefully it doesn't. Okay, so I should be able to leave that open. Okay, the hatch locked up top. That's good. We want that locking when it goes under. That's fine. I think we put a little bit of weight in the stern. Okay, so we're down. Let's hit our button. So that's hatch locked. This hatch locked. Beautiful. Okay, so both hatches are locked as we fill. Ah! It was a little nerve-wracking when that happened. And then this left light should go out when we... Um, and the cockpit door should stay locked. Okay, let's wait for this light to go out. Bingo! Once the light's out, we can get out. All right, so that works. That works well. Um, I think we just need to reevaluate our mass here at some point. Okay. All right, let's hit the button. Next one. Next stage should be um, a blank. Actually, I don't think we need a blank, do we? No, we don't want them in a state of pump out at all times. There we go. Yeah, we don't want it in a state of pump out. Um, I think, do I want it in a state of pump out? No, it keeps the pumps on. We want the pumps off. Yeah. And then we can get out here. Okay, so that airlock works nicely. Alright, so that's ballast out. Why is it ballasting out? It overshot. Okay. So if it's overshooting, I think the PID number is too big. Let's just change that PID number on the ballast tanks here to 0.5. See if that's better. I don't. I don't want it overshooting the water um, numbers. Oh, you know why? We pumped out the. Um, I know why. We pumped the water out of the ballast tanks into the hatch. And then so it said, hey, I'm, I'm low on water. Put more water in, and then it, so that's going to ruin our system. So we need to do this. Um, this is actually, so let's take this panel here. Let's go like this. Let's actually um, fix these back to ones. These might be fine. I know what it, why it did it. Um, it was, it was, we lost the ballast water, so it lost 1,500 liters. And I was like, oh no, I need more ballast water. And it filled the tanks. That's going to completely defeat the purpose. What I need to do is take the, um, the airlock meter. Um, airlock meter divided by two and add it to the um, other numbers. That would be good. Okay, airlock meter function. Um, could I get the function, please? Thank you, function. Uh, function x divided by 2 airlock meter. Okay, so we're going to take the airlock meter, we're going to divide the number in 2. Then we're going to add it to, um, yeah, we're going to add it to our ballast figure. Okay, so that will fix a lot of things here. So that's going to be added here, and then I need to do one for port and, or, um, yeah, port and starboard. Okay, so where is port and starboard? There they are there. I think they belong up here. They belong up here with their own stuff. And then they're going to send the one value to the bottom. Let's do that. That makes more sense than... Yeah, they're sending two values there, but whatever. Um, why? What are you connected to down here that I don't know about? Okay, the crossflow valve. Crossflow we'll put in the middle. Um, crossflow will move here. That will... That'll deuglify this a little bit. Okay. All right. So I need to add these to the port ballast numbers. So all the port ballast numbers need to take in. No, 
not everything. Okay, port ballast is going to add to that. Starboard ballast is going to add to this. Okay, that's going to go here. So let's just fill them all in for now. So yeah, I want this to account for pretty much everything. I really do. I want this to tell me because I need it to account for the numbers even down here or else I'm going to end up with issues where um, I'm going to end up with issues where you know, I don't know what I have in for ballast because I'm not counting what's in my um, airlock. So this will be better. All right, so port ballast is going in here. So everywhere port ballast goes, this needs to go. So this is going to go here. Okay, port ballast goes to um, port ballast goes to there. Port ballast goes to this function here, or this subtraction here. Port ballast goes down there to one. Where else port ballast go? And port ballast should go here. Okay, so that's going to now account for the. Um, that's going to account for how much water we have in the uh, in the airlock as total ballast volume. Let me check one thing too. Uh, this one of the gauges was off. I think the starboard gauge is off. So this is indexed to 2,200. So that's indicated to 20,000. That would be why. Okay, that's why that was weird. All right, jump on in. All right, let's. Uh, we're making good progress. Actually, doing some stuff here that matters. So, um, set this to three thousand. Okay. So now the ballast system should be counting this, so it shouldn't turn back on when we fill our um, when we fill up the airlock because we don't want it to do that when it f we fill up the airlock. And it doesn't matter if um, the cross flow should matter either because that single central volume is it is not going to cause any problems. So we're a little stern heavy, it feels. Yeah, we're stern heavy. Whatever, we'll, we, can we can work on that and fix that. It's probably because we um, put it... What's going on here? Are we floating back to the surface? No, yeah, we're just settling, I think. Okay, so now our that's off. Let's go ahead and fill this. Here comes the water out of the ballast tanks. All right, we should lose a hatch light here. I, what I should do is put in just a plain indicator up here. Um, it'd be, it'd take an extra node, but we have extra nodes, and then put the light there. As you can see, this will, um, okay, we're good now. All right, so now we're out. All right, so I'm going to fly into the cockpit. I want to see what the uh, ballast is doing. Yep, ballast is off. See, it's counting what's in there. So we, we're showing uh, 1489, say, on the starboard. If I fly out to the starboard and I check my, flu my uh, fluid gauge here, you should see where I moved it. So see if I can find it. I think it's right here, um, fluid meter. That is, uh, I'm still reading about there, okay. Um, it's reading what's in here as well. Let's see, what's this reading now? Okay, that's good. Let's uh, close this up. Okay, let me, um, Okay, so now uh, the pumps are on. Click them off. I should turn. I should put a pump on/off valve there too. Okay, so that's good. Uh, ballast out. I don't know why it needed to ballast out a little bit. It's not. It's not doing much. It's just doing a little bit of uh, housekeeping. Let's go up a little bit more in the ballast. Let's go 3,500. I want to make sure this keeps us on the ground.
Okay, so this is working well. Um, I think it's time for a good little break from this. Um, you know, it's functioning functioning well. The buoy needs some work. Um, I, you know, I don't know what how much I want to do with this buoy. Trying to keep it attached, I may you know may choose to attach it, not attach it. Um, I'm trying to think how how I want to do this. But um, the buoy was working great. Um, that's going to allow us to um, run the engine up to 100 meters underwater, which what I'll do is I'll end up, um, you know, in the next video, I'll end up working on the engine, getting that diesel up and running. That will give us power. We can start to connect our electrical systems. We can start to get to the point where we're actually, um, you know, sufficient, self-sufficient, where this craft does no longer needs infant electricity. So that will be good um, to get off of infant electricity. All right, so thank you for watching. Bye.